I'd like to explain the difference between astronomical equatorial tracking that accurately follows the sun's path versus um, dip tilt uh, or aka polar mounts that are very popular now there's a number of reasons why equatorial mounts are impractical for large um, solar arrays but uh, they do manage to point at the sun and if, if that's your objective like with a parabolic dish or something this is uh, particularly relevant so we've got just a basic uh, ground plane here with the compass directions labeled and uh, so this is all done in open SCAD. I've kind of coded up what I hope is a good little demo here. So, so this is your 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 basic um, equatorial mount. Um, we've got this primary axis here, the also known as the right ascension, uh, the polar axis that's uh, tilted based on our our latitude. And we've got a, um, this be our, our declination direction coming out over here. Because you can see right now I've got that declaration, declination coded to, to minus 10 there. So there's 0 degrees. Um, I can move it. There's 10 degrees or 20 degrees. So you can see this is like I'm, I'm changing the, the, the elevation axis. On a uh, on a mount here while I'm while I'm pointed towards the south. Now I've got another variable here, the hour angle, because the this is the east-west angle. This isn't quite calibrated normally, but uh, so I'll just set that to 30 for example. Here we'll rotate 30 degrees towards the east. So this is the uh, the type of motion we get from a true equatorial mount where the the tilt of the the tilt of this polar axis never changes. We change the tilt of this and we rotate about there. That's our only two translations. Now the order of rotation is important here so the dip tilt mount essentially reverses the order of rotation which has a kind of a strange effect of affecting the outcome of the first rotation in unforeseen ways so Comment out the polar mount here and switch to the um, dip tilt variant. And now this looks on the surface very similar here, but you can see as I, I change the, it's because the, right now the, the declination was zero, which matched our, our latitude. If I change the declination, you see what we do is we're, we're changing the tilt of that polar axis so that it's no longer a true polar uh, polar axis and that affects where the end of our little vector here for the, the declinations this is basically our vector of where our, our, our solar panel would be facing so if I draw the two at the same time now you can see they're, um, they're very close and they almost look look parallel there but watch what happens when we change the uh, hour angle a larger degree there now you can see there's some some clear divergence 
of where we're pointing if I um, change that declination a little bit more it's an even a larger divergence of angles so this is what a, a, a typical solar path during the day looks like We've, this would be because uh, I've got declination set at 20 that's it's very close to the uh, obliquity so this is going to be very close to uh, um, the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere which this is set up for here um, and so as you'd expect the sun's kind of taking this low arc it's a very short day um, this is this is what the, the sun's path look on, like on a, a typical winter day now if we show the tilt for the same dip tilt mount you can see that at, at zenith we're, 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 we're parallel they're both pointing in the same direction but in the morning and in the evenings we've got this this divergence where the the dip tilt system ends up pointing towards either due east or due west and we can make that even more here more clear here so this loop is going to vary your declination a little bit more than it actually does in real life here uh, while rotating from side to side with the dip tilt system uh, you put J in there okay so now we can see so as we as we vary the seasonal adjustment the tilt of that semi-polar axis um, this is the, the the path we the paths we can can cover so you see that the the east and west uh, ends here basically everything ends up pointing um, the same so we, we can't like for example really point in a towards the northwest horizon or the or the southwest horizon uh, it it just won't won't do that um, and that's uh, it's due to the order of rotations being reversed causing the uh, the declination basically to have no effect once we rotate it so this shows how with the a true um, equatorial mount or that the actual sun position you, as you would expect it moves the compass angle changes um, based on the declination which you're so this is the calendar time basically different different months the the sun sets at different points on the horizon as we would expect and with the with the dip tilt we always end up pointing west or east towards the horizon so while it while it works fairly good for the um, that that mid range, it uh, it just doesn't work so good for the rest of the time. So with the two superimposed here, you can really see how the dip tilt always ends up 
pointing here when in reality we kind of sometimes want to be pointing a little bit more north or south of that while during the uh, the noon hours they're essentially essentially the same same coverage now if we've got a linear actuator system where you know our, our, our rotation is more or less like limited to about between here and there it's uh, it's not a bad approximation and we can get away with it um, as long as you're not doing a, um, a concentrated solar application but uh, especially if you're doing a, a, a concentrated solar application the dip tilt mount just really um, won't work and you're much better off with an, an altazimuth uh, mount design that's, that's capable of pointing at, at any angle uh, needed so it's kind of a complicated subject but I hope this uh, makes clear a little bit the difference between uh, equatorial tracking uh, represented in blue here and the dip tilt tracking uh, represented in red so again the, the blue represents like the actual path of the of the sun versus the uh, the red is the uh, the paths that we get from a, from a dip tilt system and uh, just a show that again with a, uh, a single axis that's the uh, it shows our either alignment at zenith and, and how we get this, this divergence um, towards the horizon so I hope that uh, helps clarify things and of course I want to mention that the uh, the new firmware version of the Mega Tracker software supports uh, digital tracking astronomical tracking with the dip tilt mount to the extent uh, possible it will try to uh, align with the, the solar position using a, a dip tilt mount thanks for watching